Okay, so yesterday Anthropic released the model context protocol, the MCP, which essentially is a way for Claude and really all AI assistants and LLMs to interact with our data. And here they explain it that they're open sourcing the MCP, a new standard for connecting AI assistants to the systems where data lives, including repositories, business tools, development environments. And the reason for doing this is that even the most sophisticated models are constrained by isolation of data. They're trapped behind information silos and legacy systems. So basically the way we use AI today for the most part is we have to interact with it in its own app or its website and its chat interface. And there's all these different ways developers are connecting AI to different tools. They have to build out protocols of all these systems and it's not very efficient. So Anthropic went ahead and released this protocol to everyone. Everyone could use this. And there are so many applications. There's so many things that can be done with this. So I'm just going to show you. It's really cool. You can see it on their announcement. You can run local MCP servers via the Claude desktop app. And that's what I'm going to do right now. You can look at their model context protocol, model context protocol.io. You can see it all here. It's really cool. You see the MCP host can talk to a server and talk to a local resource. You can also talk to the web. Okay, so if we click through the model context protocol, we have the GitHub button here, go to their main GitHub page, and they have all these getting started guys, documentation. I just wanna look at servers. They give a few featured servers, but right now you can work with the file system, GitHub, Google Drive, Postgres, Slack, memory on a graph-based persistent memory system. That's awesome. Web scraping, it integrates with Brave Search, Google Maps Fetch, and there's so much more that will also be built with it. It's gonna keep getting more and more advanced, but I wanna show you something with the file system. And basically we have to make sure we have Node.js running and the file system will be able to read and write files, create lists, delete, delete directories, move files, search files, get metadata. We see more about that here. And all we have to do is add this to our Claude desktop config JSON file. I'm just gonna show you how to do this really quickly. Is we're just gonna to go to your user library applications report Claude. And you can create a new file called Claude desktop config.json. And you could even open it with text edit. So we're gonna copy this in here and paste it into our Claude desktop config.json. Now, if you're gonna do it exactly, remember to remove this unless you wanna give it access to a different directory, a different folder. And remember to add your username here. Save it and you close it. You could also do this all with the command line. So now we open up Claude and we see this new button here, attach from MCP, share context with Claude. And then if you click here, you see all the available MCP tools. So this is all the file system tools, create directory, get file info, list allow directories, list directory, move file, read file, et cetera, et cetera. This is everything that's included with the file system. Okay, so we have this folder of medical documents. They all have dates in different formats, 1724. This is Aug 15, 2024, December 20th, 2023. So you see all the dates are written differently and there's all the different file names. And what I need for my insurance, for example, is to put all of these files in chronological order. And I also want to make it so all the names match up. So I want to have a number, which is like number one would be the earliest file. Then I want to have the name of the test or the name of the report. And then I want to have the date. So I'm going to have Claude do this all for me. And yes, you can do this with Python. So I'm just going to put this prompt in that I wrote right now. When working with LLMs, we have to give them context. We have to be very clear and even give examples of what we're expecting. It's not beautiful, but it is what it is. Okay, on the desktop, there's a folder called MedDocs. In that folder, there are a series of medical documents, all PDFs. Each PDF has a date in various formats. I will provide a screenshot so you can see the different date formats. And there's a name for the file. Can you rename each file and preface each file with a number so that the files are in chronological order according to the date? The earliest file according to the date in the file name should be one and the most recent should be the last number. I also want you to fix the file name format so that they all match. I want to rename each file name so that the type of the report comes first. All the reports should have the same name. So all MRIs should be MRI report. And also the date should all have the same structure. Let's try and see if this works. So I'm gonna put this here. We're gonna see it live if MCP can really do this. And what I like about this is it's thinking in steps. So let's just watch what happens. Really cool, it's looking at the screenshot. Hasn't even accessed the file system yet. Okay, so now it has a renaming plan. Let's look at it. I'll help you reorganize these files chronologically. There are two MRI results. That's very astute of you. You can go forward. 
Okay, so we're gonna tell it to go ahead. Folder is asking for permission, let's allow it. Okay, so it says it made a mistake, but it's correcting itself. That's really cool. It's actually renaming stuff here. If you watch to the right, you can see things changing. And there we go. It's definitely planning as we've seen here and it's taking steps and it's correcting itself, noticing errors. There's so much more we can do with this, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to set it up. Obviously do it at your own risk. This is in beta, really cool. And as we see here, it actually did it. It renamed them all in chronological order. This is a very basic use case, but I think the possibilities here are really endless. And this is just the beginning and there's so much that could be done here. So I just needed to try this before I went to bed. And uh, I hope this helped you understand the power of the MCP. Uh, I don't like to use the word game changer because everything is a game changer, but this is maybe that. And uh, I know OpenAI released work with apps the other day, which we were all excited about, me included, where ChatGPT on your desktop could work with certain text editing apps. But this is so much more powerful. This is a whole different approach. So I think this is a huge step and I'm very excited and good night.